This is what it has come to. Here is where it shall be decided. In a world of youth, there is a church that prays for a hero. This is First Baptist Youth Group. Youth, the future of the church. When the world is dark and there's a need in our community, what we have is a chance. Pray that we can find our way. For the sake of the gospel. Youth and families, coming soon. Be prepared. Yeah, we want to be prepared. And I first want to say thanks to Harley Davis and to the youth group for helping make kind of a fun trailer that really hits home the point that we're trying to make and that we want to be prepared. We, we do like watching movies, but we want to bring that to a reality here at First Baptist Church and the reality of our youth group. We've looked at four different things over the last several weeks that we want to expand on and move forward with vision. And so those four areas are discipleship, outreach, family, and today it's youth, coincidentally, on Youth Sunday. So what are the goals? Well, we have a big goal, and we want you to join us in on that. The goal is, is that we would triple the size of our youth groups, we would triple the amount of volunteers, and that we would do that in building a space, kind of a youth space, and expanding our opportunities and our outreach, not just to our youth, but to the community as well. But how do we do that? Randy. That is a great question, Pastor. <laughs> so we've developed these four strategies to help us reach those goals. The first strategy is to develop and deliver programs. Uh, we, we choose to seek out biblical content for our youth ministries for senior high, junior high, and also elementary age. We would love to get a Wednesday night program going for elementary age youth, but unfortunately we're already bursting at the seams on Wednesdays and we just don't have the room for that. So that brings us to our second strategy, which is to increase the youth space. We would love to build or buy a multi-purpose youth space that will support youth classes, youth games, and youth activities. Um, and this space would also be a great community outreach uh, opportunity. Our third strategy is on team building. We'd love to hire a youth pastor to oversee all of our youth group activities and events. And also we'd love to have some training to equip our leaders and our volunteers to keep building up our youth and moving them toward uh, strong faith and discipleship and ministry and mission opportunities. And fourth is communication. We want to make sure that we're getting the word out in our community in Parker and also surrounding communities that we've got some great youth opportunities available. And our leaders are doing some great things with our youth and all of it, um, these amazing things to glorify God. Now, we can't do this all by ourselves, can we, Pastor? No, no, we can't. So we need three things. Three things generally first. We need your time, we need your treasure, we need your talent. And that's all for the glory of God. But specifically, we need three things that include prayer. Please continue to pray for the leadership, for our congregation. Uh, pray for God's wisdom and guidance as we're trying to grow our youth and family program here at First Baptist Church. Also, to communicate. If you have questions or concerns, please come and talk to myself, Brandy, the diaconate, Aaron Myers, people that are part of that leadership team. More than happy to talk with you about that. But if you have ideas, please come talk to us as well. We'd love to hear from you. And then thirdly, we would love to get your help. You know, if you heard what Brandy was saying with the strategy, if you heard some of the things that's being laid out with this vision, and it's kind of ringing a bell, it's kind of, you know, you're thinking, you know, maybe I can help out with that. That's great, because we've already had people starting to come forward and asking how they can help with this. You're a part of that, and we need you. And thank you. Thanks for thinking about and praying and, and maybe being a part of something that's great for First Baptists. Thank you. Thank you.